Close your eyes and watch your breath, all the way in, all the way out. Make a survey of the body right now. Where do you feel the breath? Where is the breath comfortable? Which parts are not getting involved in the breath? Can you get them involved too? The more the whole body is involved in the breathing, the better the breath is going to be. For most of us, the breath simply serves the function of keeping us alive. But if you study it, if you're sensitive to it, it'll teach you lots of things. It'll provide you with a good place to stay. And as you have a good place to stay here in the present moment, you can watch the mind, watch the body. But most importantly, watch the mind. We get a lot of news from outside, and a lot of it's pretty bad. What about your news? What about the things you are responsible for right here, right now, the state of your mind? How are those things going? How are your intentions going? Where are they going? Have you learned which intentions you can trust and which ones you can't? The reason we don't know our own intentions is because our attention is directed someplace else. Our attention is directed someplace else. And so our intentions go on automatic pilot. The problem with automatic pilot is if, you, if you're not careful, if you're not attentive, you can run into things. So you want to take control. So when you do something, you know why you're doing it, you know what you're doing it for. And you have a good sense of whether it's going to give good results or bad results. If it's going to give bad results, why do it? Every time you act, think about what are the consequences of this action going to be? Think in the long term. The Buddha talks about not neglecting discernment. Well, this is what he means. We may know that something is good, something is skillful, and something else is not good, not skillful. But if we don't apply that knowledge, then we're neglecting our discernment. So make a survey right here. Look at the morning news. How are things going in the body? How are things going in the mind? You stay right here. This is the area for which you're responsible. As the Buddha said, the actions of other people can't take us to heaven, can't throw us down to hell. It's our own actions. It's our own actions that can take us to peace, true peace, true happiness. Or they can take us away. So you've got to be heedful. You've got to keep watch over your actions, over your intentions. When you've got that news covered, okay, then you've, you've got information about what you really need to know. Information you can act on, information that you can use for a good purpose. There's so much information we take in that doesn't serve any purpose at all. And it clouds the information we should be getting that does serve a purpose. So get your priorities straight. And you find that the results of your actions are what you want. The big problem in life is we want happiness, but we do things that lead to suffering. Well, if we can solve that problem, we've solved the big problem in life. Because the only suffering that really weighs the mind down is the suffering we create for ourselves. And that's something we don't have to do. So stay right here. Make sure all your reporters are right here. Spread out through the body, spread out through the mind. Keep yourself well informed in this area. And that's when you have news from which you can really benefit.